How much would you pay for a gym? $20, $60, maybe $100? What about $30,000? Yeah, you heard me right. You see, there's a gym in Phoenix, Arizona called Exos, which is home to one of the most expensive gym memberships in the entire world. If you go here, you're officially a cool kid. Or are you? We're gonna go in, spend the day, and see what $2,500 a month can get you. First impressions, it doesn't look like a gym. It kind of looks like a, a biomed lab or a Gen Z's rebrand of Dunder Mifflin. Of course, there's a freaking nice Ferrari in the handicap parking. He probably doesn't care about the fine. <laughs> Damn, that's a nice car. Oh my God. There's no valet to be found. Do they assume that I have a driver? Do they assume that I sold my car to afford the membership? Or are there no shortcuts here? Is this an all natty gym? There's a lot of questions to be answered today. I'm here with Zev, the athlete coordinator. Everybody say hi to Zev. Hi, Hi Zev. How are we doing, guys? This is where we provide meals for all of our athletes that come in. There are people that they can't really just like go out in public. You know, they're right. under a lot of financial pressures, media pressures, and then obviously pressure in their sport. So we provide breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We have a chef. Oh, for uh, real? Yeah, we have a dietitian on site. Every athlete will go through consultation with her for body composition, okay. and then we can actually take those recommendations and craft those into meals for you on site. Damn. The fuel bar. Yes, sir. One of the most important parts of the facility. All of our athletes get pre- and post-workout supplementation. Wow. We've got 22 squat racks. We use power block dumbbells. We don't have any kind of open gym where people are just coming into the facility and working yeah. out on their own. Everything that we do is with one of our performance specialists, including what you'll do today. Okay, yeah. cool. I tell you what, it smells like potential in here. And men. I like it. The squat racks are like really close together. Like you're gonna get another athlete's sweat on you, which might be which would be pretty sick. If he's an NFL player, high profile athlete getting sweat on him, like, I mean, what are those things? They're like Dragon Balls. These vibrate, yeah. Well, they vibrate. And so do these Even ones better. as well, yeah. There's some big NFLers here I just saw. Yeah, you get some big names that come through here. Yeah, damn. Can I go throw him a ball or something later? Uh, I don't know if you're at that level yet, but we'll see. Oh, you'd be surprised. You see me with the pigskin, I'm... <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> What's with the iPad situation? So we use a... Uh, Netflix, well, ne Netflix between sets? <laughs> exactly, Netflix. Are you, exactly? No, no. Oh, no, okay. I was I, theoretically, you could, I guess. You, I would have signed up on the squat. This stores your workout, so we can put your sets and reps in volume. You pretty much can't skip leg day here, right? You can, but it's highly it's frowned upon, right? Yeah. right? Yeah. It's not like the fancy like leg press machines that right. you're going to see in like a lot of the flashier gyms. It's here, all about the functional strength. It's all about the function, and it's all about the methodology. If I'm paying 30 grand, I want machines that are built in NASA's lab. Like, I want to sit in a machine that promises me all the results that any sort of fitness infomercial provides. You know what I mean? I want to work. I just want to be here be to say that I'm here and get the results. Connected to the gym, there's like a physical therapy area, but I feel like with the membership fee, the therapy would be more than just my physical therapy. I, you probably need like the, you know what yeah. I mean? To, be a sports psychologist or something. Yeah, something like that, yeah. <laughs> so you, you could pretty much live here for a day, like no problem. Oh, easy. Right. We have guys that do that. We have guys that will literally come in at eight o'clock in the morning and leave at 5 p.m. Wow. Yeah. Do you guys ever get snakes on the, on the turf or? Not that I've seen. Just snakes in the sauna. I've seen a coyote run through here, but oh, really? never a snake. How's your speed? I, I, I run like a penguin without the grace. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I suck. I didn't know penguins had grace in the first place. I think they do. <laughs> okay. I think they're pretty cute, dude. <laughs> Do people actually hurdle that? Yeah. What the f No. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. no. I haven't warmed up yet. Push the sleds before? Yeah. You like them or hate them? I, I hate them. <laughs> I hate them. When's LeBron get in? Uh, probably the next couple hours or yeah. so. Oh, right, this would be my domain if I, if I was a member here. Yeah? Yeah. Do you have a good shot? I just, yeah, I just stand at the three. You, just... bank, you back yourself to make a three on command? Yeah, let's do it. On the line. Oh. Can you dunk? No. How's your vertical? Dude. Can you grab the rim? Dude, I'm not I'm not I'm not an athlete. You look like you could be. I look like it, but it's I'm not. Sure. I think that's more important, yeah. <laughs> oh. What was that? <laughs> and you call yourself the athlete coordinator. Not a basketball player. Just put the ball away. Are these like specialized mirrors for the athletes to boost their ego a bit? These are not, they're just old. Yeah, we got some batting cages in here. You ever faced a, a fastball before? Like a proper one? Yeah, not baseball though. Yeah, it'll yeah. change your life. Yeah. 
Do you go in one of these before? What is it? Ice bath? Cold tub, yeah. Cold tub? Uh, do, you ever, do you ever, do like any teammates go in there for some bonding? Oh yeah. Be like Body a, heat. Yeah, be like a bag of baby carrots in there. Yeah, absolutely. Damn. I guess like, if the teammates go in, it's like a nice way to humble themselves. If I'm gonna pay $30,000 for shrinkage, I probably just take Liver King stack, to be honest. <laughs> it's actually a very weird sensation, like to go from being in this for an extended period of time, then you jump into the heat, yeah. but your internal temperature is so cold, it almost feels like you're just like in a void. Like there'll be days here in the summer where I'll come in and I'll use the cold tub, and since it's hot out, yeah. I can sit in there for like 10, 12 minutes straight. Wow. And then I'll go like dry off, and I'll go into my car to drive home, and it's been sitting at 120 degrees, and I drive home with no AC. Damn. I swear. I wonder if I'll run into Jeff Bezos. I'm gonna ask to work in if I do. We finished touring the facility, and after seeing all the squat racks, I was worried I wasn't gonna find a place I belong until I entered the kitchen to meet culinary daddy, Chef Jelani. Is it hard to like make food for athletes that are like less calories? Um, not really. I just think that the ingredients are all the same. It's just how you prepare it and right. the techniques. So, you know, instead of using clarifi I mean, clarified butter, well, we actually do use clarified butter. We gotta oh. prove ghee is ghee. It's okay. not clarified oh, butter. Okay, he's Let me okay. switch it up, okay? Okay, okay. okay. he's good. Have you gotten like weird requests from athletes to like, cook them? Um, AJ, I know, I know there was a lot. AJ had spinach for the first time during combine. He came up to the window and he goes, what is this green stuff? Really? He was like, it's he was so good. Yeah, he's first so time. He's like, oh, and he liked spinach. the spinach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He loved it, but like, it was like, it's, it's spinach. He's like 24 years old. This is the first time he ate spinach. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I have one of your meals later today. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. Put, I'm gonna put you on the hot seat. Which one did you get? I did the mojo chicken. Oh yeah, mojo. I was, the, the yeah, mojo. No, you said it right. You I said, said it right. Mojo. Oh, oh. They have free samples. It's like you're at Costco. Chocolate covered bananas with peanut butter. It's all for you. <laughs> I thought you said you were cutting. Can I have though. a couple more? Yeah. Oh, don't don't cut shame me. I just met you. My bad. Yeah, thank My you. Bad. Come on. Have all. Come take on. them all. Yeah. yeah. I'll eat one. I'm pretty wow. good. Yeah. You get one. No, he doesn't get to eat. <laughs> Before getting into a specialized workout, I got to meet with registered dietitian Araya, who showed some concerns about my caffeine intake, which is understandable. I then told her pretty much everything about my diet and my training. We then did a body fat test via ultrasound where I scored 9.8%. Will, if you're 9.8%, then I'm zero. All right, well, we're here with Nick. What's like your position here? So I'm pro elite performance specialist. So do you do like the NFL combine stuff? Correct. This facility alone had seven first rounders. Do you think you're gonna turn the rock into an NFLer? Turn him into an NFL? He I never, think he, he, he could set never make his it. ways. Yeah, 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 I think he's, yeah. yeah. First thing is just a little general movement to get some blood flow. So we'll go skip an arm hook. Switch, switch. Switch arms, switch arms, big dog. Cut that. Don't do, don't do that one. We don't want to make you yeah. look unathletic. So opposite arm. Oh, I am, leg. dude. Uh, oh, uh, uh, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> don't think. You're thinking. Once you start thinking, things start getting funny. I'm thinking too much now. Yeah, what are you? You don't want to think. This is not even making sense to me anymore. Yeah. So. Nope. Do you think I'm uh, big enough to be in the NFL? Big enough, yes. Yeah. But they're as big as you, and they're super fast. So really? that's this I thought, I'd be like, I thought I'd be like a CFLer at best. No, no, no. You got the size. You got the visual look. You put okay. some pads on, you'll fit right in. For real? Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You'll have guys that are not very big at all. 5'8", right. wiry as hell, but they're playing a certain position versus you come and see the Jolly Green Giant. Hey, the guy over there, I, like, I could have been like his teddy bear. Monster. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you talk, you're talking about guys that are playing DN at 270 pounds and run a 4-3, which is insane. My arms are just gonna swing right by the hip. Yep, and then start pushing yourself forward a little bit more. So arm swing. Relax, perfect. Better? Yeah. You still, I can see you thinking. I'm a stiff dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just see him on the dance floor, man, that's bad. Stiff is good. That's why I went to prom on my own. Fourteen point seven. That's pops. What's an NFL player run? So, yeah, so close to twenties. One twenty-two. All right, we'll get like there. That. Yeah. But, I mean, that's pretty. It's pretty damn good for your first time on it. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Most of my guys are feeling like they're gonna shoot off the bat. Basically, what we're trying to do is like collect data on an athlete. This is our data collection. So it's like an athlete, like Tinder kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. It's pretty vulnerable out here. 
all the athletes who just see the screen. It's yeah. not a big screen for them to see. Yeah, but you this, get made fun this of? is one family right here. Yeah, and sure. if you do get made fun of, it's more of like a motivation. All right. Okay. Yeah. I ran 15 kilometers per hour. Yeah, exactly. Don't even miles. come near me. Yeah. Miles. Oh, miles. We're miles here. Oh, shit. America. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. This will create a jump profile for us. It's going to show me how you load into these force plates. So these force plates are super sensitive. Is that Something my last good? name? Is that your last name? No. What's your last name? I could be Donut King in there. I don't know. No. <laughs> Go. Nice. Good vertical. Do you say good vertical? That's pretty good. This is a creepy looking thing. So this is testing your hamstrings. I think you use this for a variety of things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't have to strap me in. You gotta get nicely, creative. Right? That's after hours, though. We oh, gotta okay. put the doors down, oh, turn okay. the lights off. It gets a little dark. That's for the elite membership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What we're gonna do is like a French contrast type of circuit. French contrast. French contrast. You're basically doing something heavy, yeah. and then you're gonna do something light. Is that and then French? You're gonna do something heavy, and then you're gonna do something super French. Yeah. But you have to have a croissant while you're doing it. I like French things. French so, kiss. Right now, French this fries. is gonna be yeah. rip, reset, rip. Good. Drop it down. That was pretty fast for yeah. 450 kilos. Do you ever make deals with players? Like if they go in the first round, you get a percentage of like their salary? I would love to. Can you do that? No. That'd be smart, dude. <laughs> it, it, you're telling me. I'll, I had I'll, seven I'll, first rounders. How do you slide into an athlete's DMs? I've never been successful at it. Slide into it all the time, bro. Like, what's, like, what's your... Well, uh, you gotta send a picture first, but fluff it... What? Huh? I said... <laughs> so are we super setting outside inside? Yeah. Okay. So I guess you only have that luxury at Exos. Because well, at any other gym, I'd get my ass kicked. It'd be, it'd be like hogging run. the machines, yeah. Yeah. Granny toss, throw it as high as you can in the air. Okay. And we're gonna do four of those. Okay. Let's go. I don't want you by that canopy, so I'll just have you standing right where I'm at. Make sure there's no planes in the way. Yeah, exactly. Watch out. Uh, yeah, watch your head. Watch, oh. it. watch your head. Oh. One more. Do, you, do people wear helmets when they do this or what? We tried to uh, reinforce coordination. And funny you say that I had an athlete one time, I won't say his name, but we did this exact same thing with a 15 pound med ball and he went boom and then just looked at me like what do I do next and I didn't know how to get out the words fast enough of look up and it yeah. just right in the face oh poor guy and then he got mad at me like, he can what? take a tackle from a big guy but Come then on, the med man. ball just takes him out you know sometimes you know? crazy how shit happens like that what are you gonna do yeah <laughs> oh Jesus and so a multiple of 10 on your weight is a like a thumbs up 2681 <clears throat> is extremely elite Subtle flex. And it's hard, yeah. you know, it's mostly genetic and hard to attain. Yeah. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah. Good, one more. Nice power. Good set. Good relax, relax, relax. Not yeah, quite as good as one. you though. Are we still French right now? We're still French. We're still French, yeah. We're still French. We. Right? Oui. <laughs> so this is gonna spring you off of the ground quicker than you could normally do it with your own body. Well we'll see about that. I don't know. You wanna be as quick as you can. That looks so weird. It's, it's gonna feel weird. It's like you're jumping on the moon. Oh God. And then just start small, and now start going. Start springing, get up. And you're floating, you feel the float? Yeah. And that's why it's French. Make sense? No. Completely. Uh, not at all. <laughs> yeah. Rip, good. Rip, good, relax. Bring it, bring it. Not bad, huh? That was good. That was fun. And then you just do that three or four times a week, every single day, two times a day. That, that's set. how often they do it? I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> oh God. I'll do whatever it takes to get me there. Uh, yeah, no. Like, that's, oh, we'll do that contrast work once a week. Can I go head to head against you right there? On that one? Yeah. I thought we already went head to head. What, right now? All right, let's go. I have some anger at me right now. Whatever you want. Just realize, too, for the camera, he's warmed up. And this oh. is what we call, hold on no, a second, hold on. You have to be able to just on the spot, pull anything out as a coach. Not anything, relax, time out. But. Well, I'm mean, paying 30 grand, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you want to do 250? Yeah, let's do it. I might break the machine though. Go. Oh. Oh. We were just doing one? I yeah. thought you wanted to do more than let's one. Do one. I was just warming up. Oh, you're warming up? We might as well go more than one. Okay. Why am I, oh. That's tough, hey, you know. That's why I'm the coach. I don't, I'm a sorry loser, man. I don't wanna... <laughs> That's good, though. Uh, we, we both maintain the exact same number. I know, kind of, yeah. but mine was a little bit higher. 
And so the trophy's a little bigger, and yours is more participating. Yeah. Oh. Nice job, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. What's the highest you've seen? High. <laughs> Saquon was just in here. He was in here earlier. He'll have 400 pounds on this and hit like 5,500, 6,000 peak power. Yeah, it's, it's nuts. With everything I've learned today, we're going to see how well I can catch a football. Since now I'm a, a pro NFL player. All right, 40. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what? Oh. I'm Tom Brady's godson. 60. Whoa! Because <laughs> I don't have my gloves on. A little bit of wind. I need my gloves. And we might have some. And I, have, I don't have my cleats. That's what it is. Yeah. Can't catch that cleats. Yeah. Do we have gloves hanging over here? Oh, oh you actually gave me gloves. We don't have any. 70. Oh, that was my bad. That was my, that was my bad on that one. Whoa. 40. Oh. <laughs> was that on purpose? Yeah. This guy just pissed me off. Fucking Zev, man. Oh. <laughs> that was the one. <laughs> no. This the one. Yeah. Oh my God. Let's go. You go 80? No. <laughs> Holy shit. I want to go eat. Oh. Boom. You want to try? Should I just hit him with 80 without him telling him? Yeah, same with 80. <laughs> oh. Right through him, like he's invisible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so cute running in the, in the field. <laughs> This is pretty cool, so we're at the fuel bar, and they already have my, my cup here waiting to be prepared. My name, all the things that they want to put in my smoothie based off my results. That's so sick. That's a pretty big size shake, dude. Yeah. Damn. You got big people that come through here. It's so good. You get vegan way or just or vegan or way? I better got way. Yeah, I got way. Yeah, you got way. Who gets vegan way here, man? A lot of people do. Vegan's the new wave, apparently. No, but they're, the, they're, they're not an athlete. Though. No one's figured out like well, that's, vegan that's protein powder. Yeah, yeah. It's a tall guy. Holy shit. Scott, how tall are you? Six eleven. Wow. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, have a good one, man. Damn. Oh my god. I feel like a toddler. It's crazy. Yeah. They, they, when you work in a place like, I mean, I'm not the biggest guy in the world. I'm pretty normal sized human, yeah. but when you work at a place like this, like minimum. Minimum height. Or that becomes average like normal. height is like six three. So you must have like insane body dysmorphia. Yeah, horrible. Yeah. I feel bad for you. I'm calling my parents yeah, up, yeah. crying all the time. Yeah. No one listens. <laughs> yeah. I have my meal. I got the moho chicken, courtesy of Jelani. Dude, that's a that's a big portion. Oh my god. You know, usually when you go to a gym, like the food is like more or less World War One trench food, but like this is like. This is like Chipotle that's been like elevated, y'all. Usually chicken breast is so dry, you need like chapstick for it. Daddy's on the loose back there. Jelani's like a damn wizard. Jelani, really good. After one bite, I'm already ready to put a down payment for the year. So that was my day at Exos. It was amazing, the nicest people, super professional. I think it's worth every single penny because you know, the only people that come here are serious athletes that want to get better. And if you want to get better, you got to invest in yourself and they're doing all the right things here. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.